So what exactly is acceleration? Well, acceleration has a very simple definition. The definition says that acceleration is the rate at which the velocity changes. Well, we might get a better understanding of it rather than reading a definition by looking at an actual situation. So let's take a race car, probably one of the dragsters that we saw in the video, and let's set that dragster on the starting line. So here's our car sitting on the starting line waiting to take off down the track. There's the track. And we'll give this car a, an initial or beginning velocity equal to zero kilometers per hour. And you notice I called that an initial or beginning velocity and we can designate that by writing a little I that stands for initial or beginning right there next to the V for velocity. And when I read that that I is actually what's referred to as a subscript. I can read that as V subscript I or initial velocity. So the initial velocity is equal to zero kilometers per hour. And of course since the race hasn't started the timer hasn't started and so the time is now equal to zero seconds. And once the timer starts the, the driver pushes down on the gas and speeds up as fast as he can and he goes from zero kilometers per hour to as fast as he can go in as short a time as possible and let's say that when the driver crosses the finish line over here that the final velocity and we'll call that V subscript F F stands for final so that stands for final velocity we'll say that he's going 150 kilometers per hour. So when the car takes off from zero kilometers, speeds up to a final velocity of 150 kilometers, and the amount of time it takes to change that velocity is maybe, let's just say, 3.5 seconds. So here's the situation. A race car sitting on the starting line with an initial velocity of zero kilometers per hour at a time of zero seconds speeds up and reaches 150 kilometers per hour a final velocity in a time of 3.5 seconds. That really explains what acceleration is. We have a change in velocity from zero kilometers per hour to 150 kilometers per hour divided by a change in time. And that is our definition of acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity divided by change in time. So there's our equation. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity. That's delta V Remember that that Greek letter delta means change. Change in velocity divided by change in time. Delta T. And there is our mathematical definition of acceleration. And we can expand that equation a little bit. We can change it so it looks like this. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity. How do we get the change in velocity? Well, we get it by subtracting change means subtraction. You know, if I go into a store and I buy something that costs a dollar and I hand the clerk a five dollar bill, he is going to subtract the one dollar from the five dollars to give me some change. So when you see that word change means subtraction. What do we subtract? Well, the two velocities. We say that we're subtracting the initial velocity from the final velocity. So this is V subscript F minus V subscript I, or final velocity minus initial velocity, divided by the change in time. And we can just write T for the time, the elapsed time. And there is the equation that we want to use for acceleration. Our mathematic definition for acceleration is acceleration equals V sub F minus V sub I divided by T or acceleration 
is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. And now we know what acceleration really is, the rate at which velocity changes.